Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're working on the M3 and uh, let's just say today I'm super stoked because we're actually going to get this car together. I got the pink slip in yesterday, which means we're so much closer to getting this car on the road, so much closer to taking this car to Beamer Fest. I don't know if you guys know, but I want to get this car to Beamer Fest this year, so I'm working my best to try to get it ready, try to get it to pass everything and uh, try to get this baby down to Beamer Fest. I can make some videos with you guys, so check you guys, you, you know, check out your guys' cars. You guys should check out the M3. Hopefully everything works out. But yeah, before I start the video, I do want to give a huge shout out to those of you guys who, who donated to the build and also purchased, you know, decals or whatever to support the build. I appreciate you guys so much. I don't know if you guys can see, but on that wall right there, it just says BMW service. This stuff's a little bit dirty because it's been sitting in the garage for quite a long time. But this was a little 10K plaque I made for myself when we hit 20K, uh, so that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up on the wall. And what I'm doing throughout this entire wall is putting up like all the things we've done on this channel. Uh, for example, the 335, those are the people who donated parts toward the builds. These are the companies that helped out with this build. So shout out to everyone who's contributed to this build. These two are gonna go up there and hopefully with this M3 when I'm finished, I'm gonna put the names of everyone who supported the build uh, you know, through this GoFundMe link. Basically, to get this car painted, it's gonna cost me a buttload of money that I don't have. I don't even have enough for the rod bearings, but I'm gonna get the rod bearings done because that's just gonna give me that peace of mind when I go down to LA that that, you know, that six, seven hour drive, having that peace of mind that nothing's gonna happen with the car, having that peace of mind if I wanna do a burnout or, you know, do a little bit of something, it's not gonna blow my motor because these motors run a lot and it's just not worth it. So I wanna get that out of the way. So as for the paint job or any of the future restorations I'm gonna be doing on this build, I started a GoFundMe link. For those of you guys who are purchasing your own builds, again, don't worry about it. If you guys are at the hookah lounge every weekend and you got a little bit to spare on the build, that would be greatly appreciated. You guys' names will be shouted out in like the next video. I'm shouting out everyone's names in this video that contributed and your names are gonna be on the plaque that I'm gonna be putting up on the wall once this build is done. So everyone that donates to this GoFundMe link will have their Instagram name or their name on the plaque on the wall. So hopefully when I get my own place, it's gonna go up inside the house. But yeah, the thing is I noticed is that putting it on a car, cars are not really a permanent thing. Anything can happen to a car, but putting it on like an award like this, it's kind of like something I can always see, something I can always show on the channel. Um, it's just memorable, you guys know. So shout out to the two people who purchased push start buttons. That's Christopher Mitchell and Tyson Werman. So shout out to you guys for purchasing a decal and so pur purchasing a push, start, push button start to support the channel. Thank you guys so much. All right, not everyone's names pop up on the what's it called the donation so make sure if you guys have donated so just DM me on Instagram show you guys have donated so I can get your guys Instagram name and put it on the wall as well so shout out to uh, Sirat Tyson were oh wow okay so Tyson not only purchased the push button study also donated to the channel so shout out to you Tyson killing the game um, Matthew Gaffney shout out to you Luke Wilcox shout out to you and Frank always supporting the channel also shout out to you my guy uh, I'm gonna have like pretty much all their names and everything posted on there so shout out to everyone who's contributed to the build now without further ado let's get into the build I don't know if you guys know but I posted on the channel that I got all these rims uh, basically got some rims and tires for the build which I'm not gonna be showing in this video I know I know I can't I just can't because I also got the wheel spacers. I don't want to announce the wheels just yet because the car is not done. I want to basically get this front end together, have the car ready for wrap, and then basically uh, put on the wheels, wrap the car, and pretty much, you know, just wrap it up. Makes it feel like the car is actually getting wrapped up. I don't want to put wheels on it and the front end's not even done. It's kind of like, what the heck, you know? So anyways, I got the wheel spacers for burger tuning. Uh, we have the center caps, we have the wheels and tires. We are ready, we like the, the wheel stuff is coming in the next video if you guys want to see that. So the sooner you guys want to see that, make sure to smash the like button and let me know down in the comments. And you guys will see that hopefully ASAP. But in the meantime, we did get our headlight brackets in. These are so expensive. And we also have our headlights. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start mounting our headlights because we want to get this bumper on it already. All right, so let's get everything situated. Headlight brackets check, driver's headlight check, passenger headlight check. So now we have all that stuff. We do need to get all the screws. So we go ahead and find where all the screws are at, and then I'll get back to you guys in a second. And boy, oh boy, these are meaty. All right, guys, so I'm buying that headlight. It came with all the bulbs and modules. This headlight didn't come with any bulbs, any modules. So let's go ahead, uh, take that headlight apart, which is the one that was in the accident. I do believe it still has all the bulbs, still has all the modules. One of the modules is destroyed from the accident. Uh, I think it's the headlight ballast, not the ballast, the adaptive, I think. I'm not too sure. But we do have this one from the other side, so I'm hoping it doesn't matter left, right. Should all just work. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this one in. But yeah, let's go ahead and take out all the screws. Let's go ahead and take out the bulbs, transfer those over to the new one, and uh, let's just get it mounted already. Yeah, yeah, let's go. 
I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth. Working hella hard till they put me in the dirt. Gonna go far, man, listen to my words. Gonna be a star, man, life's like a blur. When you're working this hard, yeah, you get what you deserve. Yeah, I ain't taking a backseat, I'm passing. Anybody else who is rapping, I'm nasty. Ain't nobody able to catch me, they gasping. They cannot compare, they can't match me, I'm at half speed. I got your girl and she laughing and dancing. Hanging on my butt, she asking to crash with me. Smash with me, she's savage, she wants cash money. And she knows that I live lavishly, uh. I wanna live, I'm cold inside. Give all I have just to feel alive. All right guys, something I didn't realize with this radius port that I bought is that this piece is completely just broken and this piece is kind of cracked. So I'm gonna go ahead and plastic weld this together and uh, hopefully that just give it a little bit more integrity, a little bit more structure, uh, and then I'll at least have one place to screw it in. We have these two mounts and we'll have the rear mount, which is more than enough, but at least one of these need to screw in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this with some plastic welding and then uh, we'll go ahead and mount the headlight. So this headlight uh, cable is missing the bracket, so I'm gonna just tape it for now. But I'm gonna have to, I need a headlight bracket uh, down the road. So if actually if any of you guys are parting out in E92 and have the headlight bracket for this, the clip, let me know because I'm gonna need it. Uh, I'll be more than happy to pay for it, the shipping or whatever. Uh, if you guys just give me one of these guys. We'll just wait on this sucker to heat up and then we can get uh, straight to work. Feeling awesome. I'm about to pop started from the bottom, yeah. I wanna live. All right, guys, basically I bonded the plastic and then I added some more plastic, heated it up, and hopefully that should be at least hard enough to where the screw should go in and shouldn't break out or anything like that. So it's good enough right there. In the meantime, once drying, I don't want to go ahead and put the headlight just yet. I don't know if you guys knew, but basically when I bought this key, let me actually go ahead and bring the original key real quick. <laughs> I know I'm probably teasing you guys with this uh, table set up from the wheels. I know you guys want to see him, but... As much as I want to put them on, I can't put them on just yet because I don't want to put them on when the car is unfinished. I want to put them on when the car is finished, have like that finishing touch, and then we wrap it. Should be like a really good satisfaction. So anyways, this is the original key. We went ahead and just cut it. The key originally, this is one of those ones you can't actually replace the battery, so you actually have to cut it open. Uh, so unfortunately, we had, did have to cut the original key. I put it in this new shell, and uh, basically the buttons still don't work. I don't know, like none of these buttons work. It does start up the car, but none of these buttons work. So I'm thinking that the battery is just super dead. So you went ahead, ordered a new battery. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how we install one in a car, in a pretty much in a key that won't allow uh, you to swap out a battery. So basically, you do have to do this step where you just cut all the way around. It. You can use an X-Acto knife. I just went ahead and used an angle angle grinder, went Arab style on this, uh, cut it out. That's actually very risky what I did, so careful if you ever try to do my process. If you cut the motherboard and this is your only key, uh, it's not fun. So I was being very careful, but it was very stupid. So don't do what I did. Uh, just use an X-Acto knife, take your time. It takes about 30 minutes. I didn't want to do that, but anyways. Let's go ahead and open this thing again. So basically we need to get this battery out, we need to desolder these two points right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Basically you need to desolder these two points on the top, that should remove the battery. And then I have the new battery right here, make sure you get a 90 degree where they're close to each other, not 180 degrees because this one requires a 90 degree one. So this I went ahead and ordered from eBay, uh, they're pretty cheap, like 750 so it's not too crazy. I mean, it's not, it's pretty, I mean for BMW stuff it's not crazy, but for one battery it's pretty crazy. And of course my friend has to cut me off. This is Andre guys by the way. I hope you guys didn't hear that. It's working. Perfect. Finally. I have a key that actually works. Alright guys, finally got the new battery and the new key. I'm still waiting on the logo to come in because this key didn't come with the logo. But basically, unlocks, locks, trunk. Finally, so we got a key that actually works, but I am gonna try to get a spare key because I don't wanna, if I lose this key, it's all bad from there. Alright guys, so the headlights are on. They're looking really good right now. Both of them are working, thank goodness. I don't know about the whole adaptive and everything, but for the most part, they look like they're working just fine. So I guess at this point, we're gonna go ahead and grab the bumper, slap it on there, just test fit it. If everything fits perfectly, then we're just gonna go ahead and start prepping the bumper, working on the bottom crack, because there's a crack on the bottom of the bumper. If we can get all that sorted out, 
then it should hopefully get the button if I can get the bumper mounted today hopefully we can get it done in this video um, then you know we can get the grills in I don't have any grills right now but I can go get some grills real quick and then uh, that should be the whole front end pretty much complete and then we're just missing a lot of small pieces here and there which I don't care about until we put on the wheels until we put on the wrap and then we can put it in after the wrap because they're kind of like the grills you want to put that after the wrap so a lot of things I don't really need as of now it's coming together boys so anyways let's go ahead and test fit the bumper see how it looks All right guys, so I guess in the meantime, I'm gonna take off this bumper, try to fix it. Everything is lining up pretty good. On this side, everything is perfect. Like I'm not upset with anything other than the fact that the grill is not fitting properly. Not the grill, but you know, the stupid um, air duct. But I'll figure that out. We'll figure that out down the road. It's not a big deal. Um, we can also put in the grills and everything once we actually fix the bumper. Uh, the gaps on this side, currently it's off because I, I had to pretty much take it out. Yeah, if I just put it in right there, it looks pretty good. So this side's pretty good. Um, this side, I can't get it to line up. Like the headlight right here will not go in this screw hole. And I've just been trying to finesse it, finesse, finesse. I can't figure that out. So I finally figured out that this hood latch that I purchased looks like it's from an E90, not an E92, because you guys can see it goes in a lot deeper than this side. This side only goes in so deep. And then over here, and then I get the bolt lines up perfectly while this one goes in really deep, and that's why it's just not lining up, and that's why my headlight just goes in and out. Um, so I now have to order a new hood latch, which sucks, but it's gotta do what you gotta do, and then everything else should just line up perfectly. I mean, for the most part, pretty happy, pretty stoked, but sucks, I gotta spend more money, but it's whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave it how it is right now, so at least the car looks as in one piece. I'll catch you guys tonight when we start doing some more things to it. All right, guys, so now, as you guys can see, I'm recording the third person, shout out to Yusuf. Uh, I haven't had Jonathan around here for a little bit, and Yusuf's been busy with school, you know how we all are right now. Coming, you know, probably like a month off from the summer, once the summer hits, boys, it's gonna be kind of going a little bit crazy. But anyways, these tail lights are not working because we needed the conversion. I went ahead, placed an order, just got them in. These are the conversion cables, so let's go ahead and slap these in and uh, see if they work. All right, so I'm gonna plug this into the tail light. Like that, and then these, just plug into each other. Should be pretty self-explanatory. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Damn, boy! Oh, boy, okay, hold up. Yeah, that looks so much better. Let's go ahead and figure out what's going on the other side. I can't even find the wire. Ooh. Yeah, when you have this one too, it goes like that. It looks so good. Hey, come look at the camera. Damn. <laughs> That's gonna be great for photos. Let me get you the camera quick. Alright guys, and that brings us to the end of the video. So if you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. I know I'm super hyped to get the wheels on it. I know I'm super hyped to just look at how everything fits and hopefully drive it in the next video. If you guys want to see all that, putting on the wheels, driving the car, make sure you guys smash that like button. But anyways, we're at the end of the video. It's effectively over. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. Remember to stay humble. Oh yeah, if you want to support the channel, check out that GoFundMe link down below. That'd be killer. But regardless, remember to stay humble, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.